Hey guys, what is up? I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Um, I thought I'd do something a little bit different. Um, I haven't actually done any like personal vlogs for a while. So I thought, well, hey, let's catch up on some stuff and um, yeah, just kind of uh, clear the air on a couple of things and sort of let you know where I'm at and where we're going. So a lot of people have been asking in the last couple of weeks, like, you know, why even with NZ blokes and blah, blah, blah. And like, without getting into too much detail, um, the short version is is that I wasn't happy there and some of the other guys weren't happy there and so we wanted to buy NZ Blokes as an entity off the people that own it. Um, I never owned it. Um, and so yeah, so we wanted to do that. We wanted to get it away from those guys so we could do it how we wanted to do it because we felt very much hands tied and all that kind of stuff. So it did get to the point where I made an offer which was... Um, Totally reasonable, like based on what you know, things like that go for these days, and totally reasonable offer, which was not only rejected but it was returned with a counter offer, which was just absolutely ridiculous. Like it was a big middle finger um, kind of price, which you know. And I mean, the thing is, the thing with it is, is the reason that I really, really wanted it back. It wasn't so much that it was established and I wouldn't have to rebuild anything. Like I don't mind doing that. Like, and that's what we're doing now anyway. The thing was, the thing of it was, was that it was something that you know, between me and Julian and, you know, all the other guys that have been a part of it that, you know, we'd, well, and girls for that matter, you know, we'd built it into something and I kind of felt like I owed it to you guys as, 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 you know, as the bigger community to kind of like not let it do nothing, um, which ultimately now it is. So anyway, so fast forward a little while, we, um, so yeah, that, that rejection and that counter offer was ultimately what started uh, the empire as it was anyway because we were like okay well let's go from you know doing what we were doing and say okay well we're not going to do that anymore let's go and do something new which is how we started the empire um, and so obviously everybody came with me obviously not the owners but all of the other admins came across with me and so that was really awesome so we had like you know a good team good base but we basically didn't have anything to start with we we're basically starting from scratch which i didn't mind it's just not as easy as it used to be um what with facebook algorithms and stuff and i'll put that in another vlog but it kind of it's not as easy as it used to be so oh that's bright so, but that's fine you know what it's you know we can we can still do it and we are doing it which is absolutely fine um it's just as i say it's not as easy as it used to be anyway um so I guess that kind of got us to the point where, oh, okay, so then, yeah, fast forward until actually not that long ago, you know, between Stephen and I, the, the other owner of, of Empire, um, we were kind of like, well, you know, do we want to buy blokes back? I mean, the thing, the thing is, is for what we were offering them money-wise to buy it, we could just do Facebook advertising directed at the NZ Blokes Facebook page and get all of those people and then some across to the new stuff. But I don't really like Facebook advertising, it doesn't really work very well. Um, so I decided that, okay, well no, let's do it organically. Um, and if our offers turn down, then yeah, we'll throw a couple of ads towards the people that are still active, you know, or still, you know, look at Facebook that are on that page, and that's fine. We'll pull a few across, and we pulled a lot across anyway. Um, it was a little, it kind of pissed me off, because I did a big kind of like goodbye, thanks for everything message on the page, which got deleted. Um, and that kind of, that was probably the thing that upset me the most because it was like, you know, me talking to you guys as a community. But, um, but anyway, so yeah, so basically we've now decided that we've got no interest in getting it back. Um, the people that own it are just being unreasonable uh, in terms, and they're not, the thing that kind of pisses me off the most is they're not actually doing anything with it. Like it's just sitting there dead. Like nothing's gone up on the website. The Facebook page is doing three eighths of not much. And um, yeah, so I mean, like, and, like it's just a shame that we built it into something awesome and and now it's just sitting there dead like that is probably the biggest thing that, that really upsets me about the whole thing but anyway you know such is life that's fine let's move on so yeah so now we're doing the empire the empire's going really well we've got a bunch of shoot off pages we've got a kick-ass website um we're kind of just in the stage now where we're just sort of getting getting those numbers up you know because what with you know having uh, ads on the website like we don't have ads on the website yet but we will because that's a good little revenue stream and that covers you know all of our hosting and you know some of the adventures we go on and stuff like that so that's that's something that we do need to do um, you know but we can be a little bit selective with that um, the only thing we're doing at the moment is getting those numbers up to get attractive enough to be able to pull in some decent money from doing that otherwise you just end up with getting not much and you get screwed over and it's not worth it um, so yeah, so that's that's coming. Um, obviously, we'll be doing a lot more stuff 
um, that's you know sponsored content and things of that nature. Um, so that's all coming as well. But um, but yeah, I actually um, the next thing that I wanted to talk about was a lot of people have asked me why I'm not wearing M1A1 clothing anymore. Well, we had a, I had a relationship with M1A1 clothing and Adam that ran it for about six or seven years. Um, to the point where the guy came and stayed at my house, like, you know, like, I would have taken a bullet for him, sort of, sort of friendship, and then it just sort of drifted off, um, not much contact, and I kind of hit him up, was like, hey, what's going on, and I just got a huge amount of abuse, it's like, you're out, you know, you're useless, blah, 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 all the rest of it, okay, fine, at which point I was like, okay, well, all of the stuff that I've loaned you over the last six years, can I have it back? And then now it's just like, nah, not talking to me. We're not talking about like, you know, like a, a, a box of matches here. We're talking about a few thousand dollars worth of equipment. So, you know, that's something that really surprised me. And, and you know, I mean, I want to say that it surprised me that somebody did it, but it kind of doesn't, you know. I mean, I've been screwed over that many times in the past anyway. I'm kind of just getting to the point I expected, but I didn't expect it from him. Not after everything. That really did surprise me. So, yeah, anyway, so obviously cut all ties there, no relationship at all. Um, don't want anything to do with him, wouldn't piss him off, on it. wouldn't piss on him if he was on fire. The next thing that I wanted to talk about is kind of where, it's been an interesting time down here because as, as you guys that watch the webisodes, well, I think, I think most of you know that my house burnt down um, about well, two months ago now and I have moved to Tauranga and the reason that is is because initially what we were doing is the house was on the market to sell it and then move to Tauranga. Now this has actually been a bit of a blessing in disguise because what we did was when the house burned down we were in a motel and I thought okay well why don't we just rent in Tauranga because it's going to be cheaper rent we can suss it out and if we don't like it we can always just move back to Auckland. You know, so that was an option, um, which is ultimately what I think we're going to do because Tauranga is a beautiful, beautiful city and it's got so much going for it, but it just hasn't got the things that I'm kind of interested in right now. Like, if I was settling down with a family, 110%, but I'm still in the very, very ambitious stage of, you know, I want to get the empire up and running, you know, I want to get to the point where we're, you know, we've got sort of 10, 15 employees in our own building and we can film awesome stuff every day and make awesome content and all of that sort of stuff and, and expand into a few other areas as well I mean probably the one thing that I don't want to expand into is news other than that like I'm pretty keen to get into all sorts of stuff um, but we'll get into that in another another vlog but I mean I guess the thing for me is I, I sort of like I had a bit of a couple of crappy weeks um, I was just sort of you know I just got back from Auckland and I knew that I didn't want to be in Tauranga, but I'm stuck with the realisation that I'm going to be here for at least at least a year, maybe a little bit less anyway, until my house is rebuilt. Um, so I need to figure out the best way to kind of manage that time and what I can do between now and then in terms of um, not wasting time, I suppose. So basically what I'm doing at the moment is like uh, yesterday, I went and joined up at a gym, really, really good gym. Um, it's more of a, like a health club, I suppose. Um, a little bit on the pricey side, but I mean, it's got everything and more. Um, so that's pretty good. And all the classes are free, so that's good. So yeah, like I actually just not, not far, just left the gym. And I, yeah, like, let's just say I'm glad that my car has power steering. But yeah, so like I was having a couple of crappy weeks and I, I kind of just started looking at some of those people like on YouTube that, have, that are doing really, really amazing content. Like as an example, when we do product reviews, you look at something like Linus Tech Tips. Like, they're the best. Like, when they review hardware, like, they do it so well. And the quality of the, the video is so good. And it sounds amazing. And all of that sort of stuff. So, you know, that's kind of where I'm looking for when we get into that sort of thing. And, I mean, that's a little while away. But, I mean, we can kind of still get quality equipment that might not be quite as quality as what those guys are using. But we can, you know, we can manage for now. I mean, we're not really looking for that big international market like they are anyway. We're almost 100% on New Zealand. Maybe if it bleeds over to Australia for some of the expats or whatever, or maybe if the whole empire grows and it kind of, you know, and it just goes that way that it goes international, hey, that would be fantastic. But I mean, really, we're really only looking in New Zealand. Um, other than like travel vlogging, which is something I want to get back into because I had a blast doing that. Um, 
And then I look at other things like vlogs, like when I do my webisodes, I've been watching, I binge watch Roman Atwood's vlogs. And like that guy is just on point. But like he and I are in very different stages of our lives. You know, he's settled down with a family and so forth. So, you know, which I'm, <laughs> I can't even get a match on Tinder. So actually, if anyone wants to like, you know, start a baby factory, hit me up. But what I'm getting at is like, you know, he's just so good at just being natural in front of the camera and the thing that actually I like the most about Roman Atwood and the thing that I really want to embrace in what we're doing now is that is the positive messages because there's I mean the internet is such a negative place and there's so many horrible things being done and said and all of that kind of stuff and you know you look at what you know Roman Atwood smile more is his brand and you know like it's for me that's kind of something that I've struggled with because you know like, like as I say the last couple of weeks have been a bit crap and I've been hard to motivate um, myself and I guess it's one of the I'm kind of at the point now where it's like okay well I'm making positive decisions I'm eating better I'm going to the gym you know and I want to get some of these these videos to have a much more positive kind of feel to them because I mean that's kind of where I'm at and I mean you know even looking back even further I mean the the motivation that I actually got to start doing these webisodes was um, a guy on YouTube uh, uh, Adam LZ or LZ BMX um, just because you know obviously I ride I got my bike in the back now but um, I just really enjoyed his content and again and a very another very positive person you know very sort of excited about life and I guess that's where I want to get to as well but you know that's one of those things you know the, the thing that the reason that I don't vlog more is simply because there's just not that much going on um, in terms of my day-to-day -day life like at the moment I'm pretty much working on the website working on the social media you know editing stuff as and when I do it but in terms of actually going out and doing fun stuff I'm not actually doing that much at the moment which is a bit sting I mean yeah okay it's winter but that's not really an excuse it's a gorgeous day today um, dig it out for a ride yesterday but you know it was kind of like a little small thing and I don't think people want to see like the same BMX videos all the time like I want to try and keep them fresh and interesting and things like that like uh, I don't know who's coming with me but we're gonna go over to the home show next week um, and just go pop up to Auckland, you know, have a couple of days, hang out, see some friends, eat some good food, and go and see the, um, yeah, go and check out the home show, because I, I always enjoy that, because I like, you know, homes. whole thing kind of leads me into a question that I've got for you guys, is, because I've been kind of thinking about it myself, like, I'm thinking that when I do, like, webisodes, when I started doing the webisodes, the webisodes used to span over three or four days, and they were, like, 20 minutes long, but I actually enjoyed that format more because it kind of told more of a story. Whereas, you know, like a, a vlog where you're just going and doing a thing or it's just a day in the life of whatever, you know, they might be 10 minutes long and you only do one thing. Um, and I'm kind of at a crossroads now of how do I, you know, shape that? Like, you know, if we're going to an event, do we do the whole weekend trip and the event and then that's a webisode? Or do we just vlog the, the event and then maybe there'll be another vlog for the day before and the day after? I don't know. Um, I kind of like the webisode format just because it's more kind of show-like. Uh, just some stuff that I wanted to get off my chest. And I mean, the main thing that I wanted to say is like just a massive thanks. I don't want to sound cheesy or anything, but I mean, you know, we're only going as far, as far and as fast as we are because of the support from the community. And I mean, I guess... Actually, that kind of brings up a point that I wanted to make that I haven't actually got around to yet, and that's the community aspect. I mean, the thing for me that I wanted to achieve with the old website, which did work to an extent, but obviously we had a lot more eyeballs on what we were doing at the time, but is, is the community aspect, you know? Like, we'd, like, if people want to send in an article on something that they've done or somewhere that they've been or something that they're building or creating or anything like that like that sort of stuff like I want to get the community involved so that it's almost like its own machine you know like I mean you can email me like a story and some photos and I'll put them up on the website you know like that sort of thing is I'm totally totally keen on that so I guess the main thing right now is moving forward so obviously we've got our sights set pretty high because we know what we can do because we've done it before and we know what we want to do because that's what we were thinking about last time and like I know that this is what I want to do because I enjoy it I have fun every day but I guess it's at the point now where it's like okay well we actually need to start thinking pretty seriously 
So, you know, right now I'm looking for office space in Auckland because Auckland is just going to be easier to do it, you know, somewhere where we can set up some good quality cameras so we can do our product reviews when things like that come through. You know, we can have set up some PCs for when we do our live streams and stuff like that. Um, and there's a few other ideas that I want to get going that will take a little bit of time, a little bit of effort, um, and a little bit of support. Um, so, yeah, so, I mean, if you guys are watching this, you know, and you think that you know somebody who might be interested in what we do, hey, just share some of the content with them or, you know, suggest that they like one of the Facebook pages or subscribe to the YouTube channel, all of that sort of stuff, all of those little things. Every time we find a new person, every little bit helps because then they tell two friends and they tell two friends and so on and so forth. Um, and that's kind of how we grow, as I said earlier, with the not being interested in Facebook advertising. And that's that's another vlog. I'll get onto that in another time. But but yeah, so again, just a massive thank you. Um, thanks for watching this video and hearing me out. I guess there's been some stuff that I've just wanted to get off my chest that, you know, and it, I, like I feel better for it, to be honest. Anyway, this is, outro is taking way too long. So thanks heaps. Thanks for watching, thanks for being a part of the Empire, and let's just continue to make it awesome. Ta-da!